speaker. Okay, so first question. Looking back, what would you say is different about the band now compared to when it all started? Any differences musically? Absolutely, yeah. I think now you know, we, we all contribute a lot more. In the beginning, uh, Sully tended to write everything. And now all, all four of us write collectively as a band. So we've, we've uh, grown into more of a band now rather than a one-man show. Okay. Uh, sharing the stage with so many great bands on the Rockstar Energy Mayhem Tour, how is it that you hit the stage, or how is it that you started on stage? How is it that we start on stage? So how, how is it that uh, you guys hit the stage, like, when right when it's time to go on stage? Oh, we usually, uh, we always have an hour before the show in which just the four of us are together in the dressing room, and then we talk about uh, set list and, you know, uh, how songs are going to get flow into one another, and then we usually uh, crack open this cold beer and we stand around and, and we pump loud music, like usually Black Sabbath or Rush or something to get us fired up, you know? And uh, and then sometimes we even do a shot of tequila right before we walk to the stage, and then we're ready to kick ass. Huh. Wait, a lot of fans want to know how it all started for you and how you got signed, and if you have any advice for all the musicians out there. Well, uh... You know, me personally, I've, I've been in the band for nine years now, so I wasn't there in the very beginning when they made the first record and got signed. However, I do know the story, and basically uh, they made it themselves and just started doing shows around the Boston and New Hampshire area and were selling it out of the, you know, literally out of their trunk of their car at the shows. Um, and then they ended up getting a deal with a local comic book record store called Newberry Comics, which Newberry Comics said, yeah, well, we'll put some, some of your CDs on consignment on the shelf. And one thing led to another. It started selling like hotcakes, and then the local radio station, WAAF, uh, gave it a shot at the radio, and they played the song Whatever. And uh, it ended up being a big hit, and then the rest of the tree pretty much... Uh, out on board so that at the time they were shopping for a record label, the song was actually already doing well at radio, so it could fail. Uh, but I mean, for, for new bands starting out today, that's a whole different animal, and you know, it's not that, that way anymore. Now it's all about uh, internet. What is that racket? Where are you, dude? Are you at a site or something? Mm -hmm. Yep, I got you. Uh, okay, uh, so when you're out on um, festivals like the Mayhem Tour, do bands get a chance to hang out together very often? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, we're all backstage, and uh, it's a long day out there. There's like, uh, I don't know, eight bands playing or something all day. And so you go out and, you know, to fight off boredom, you go out and walk around, check out the sites, check out the other bands, and... So you run into all the other guys, and uh, you know, it's just like any other social circle. You know, you, you kind of latch on to the guys that you like and that you get along with. Everybody's different, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, we, we definitely hang out with, with the other bands when we're on tour. Well, uh, when you're out on tour, what do you guys do to relax on the road? Well, you know, we, we like to watch the MMA fight, and we uh, we play our instruments a lot, even on the tour bus, you know, where somebody's already got a guitar or a bass in their hand, and so uh, I, I read a lot and watch horror movies constantly, that's how I relax. Uh, Tony just plays his guitar constantly. Um, but, uh, when you create a song... How does it all come together for you? Is it a process or spontaneous? Uh, it's both. You know, sometimes songs come out spontaneously, but for the most part, it's a process in which all four of us, all four of us have uh, like handheld recorders, and we write riffs. Uh, 
uh, on them. I, I, uh, I can't hear myself, dude. What the fuck? I'm sorry, are you, uh, are you breaking up a little bit? Yeah, yeah, there it is. All right, there was all kinds of, like, <laughs> like you're at a construction site going on. Awesome. Um, anyway, we, we all have, like, handheld recorders in which we write riffs. And then when the band gets together at the end of the day, like say after this tour or after after this cycle's over, we'll say, okay, let's take off Christmas and then we're going to get together in January and we'll write, write some music. Well, when we all get together, we all bring like riffs to the table. And every song that Godsmack writes starts with just a guitar riff. If there's a killer guitar riff, we can all four get together and build that into a killer song. Okay, uh, lyrically, is there something, an idea, already on paper, or does it happen based on the music? Well, it depends. Sully writes all the lyrics in this band uh, by choice. Like, he doesn't like to sing other people's lyrics because he finds that it's not believable. For He can't sell it, I guess, and so he needs to be able to emote the lyric. So he insists on writing all the lyrics. So, with that said, Tony and I will give him, like, song titles that, that he'll sometimes, like, name up, kind of like, bitch, and then throw the whole song on it. Okay, uh, popular with the readers is the old gearhead question, what does everyone use live, and is it different from the studio? Not really, we all, we use the same thing, Tony uses a Splawn amp, and uh, a Black Star amp. And, um, but in the studio, they were using Diesel, Marshall, and um, Bobby uses uh, Galleon Kruger bass amps. I use Yamaha drums, Oak Wood drums, and Fabian cymbals and Dick Firth drum sticks, and uh, Toka percussion. And we pretty much use, you know, Gibson guitars and McNaught guitars for six and vector bass is forced. But uh, that's pretty much the same thing we use live. Okay. Uh, what are the uh, headline touring plans once Mayhem is finished? Well, what we want to do is go to Canada. We haven't been there in, in like five years, excluding just the show we just did in Quebec City. But, you know, we've always done really well in Canada. We love Canadian people and They've always been really supportive of, of the band. So after Mayhem ends, we're going to try and go up and do a nice, extensive two- to three-week tour of Canada. And we want to go up and end it in Alaska, which we have been several times. And it's another trippy, cool place to play where the people are very appreciative. Okay, uh, uh, now is there any work being done on the next album or planning yet? Yeah, well, like I mentioned earlier, we, we all... We all constantly are writing riffs um, on our handhelds, you know, like on my iPhone, you know, I can pick up a bass and write a riff if it comes. And so by, by the time we all get together to write the new record, the riffs will have been written. So all we do as a unit, as a band, is we get together, the four of us, and we, we put these, these riffs in the songs. So in answer to your question, yes, we're, we're writing we started writing the day after we finished the Oracle. We started writing for the new record, you know? Okay. Uh